Hello. Now today we are working on area and perimeter. Now two things you need to keep in mind is that the area of a shape is the inner part, okay, so it's the inside part of that shape, and the perimeter is the outer perimeter like that. So I like to think of it as a fence type of situation. So let's say you have a pet rabbit. The area the inside part of that fence is this bit here, and then the outer perimeter would be the actual fence itself. Now, we're working on rectangles specifically today, just because they are the easiest to work with when doing area and perimeter, and we're starting off on our ground basis here. Now, when you do have a uh, rectangle, do keep in mind, your top and your bottom sides should be the same, and the ones here should be the same. So say I have a four centimeter side here and a two centimeter side here. If the top part is four, that means the bottom will also be four. And if that side is two, that side to be, should be two. So if ever you're given a shape without the four measurements and it's a rectangle, those are the rules you need to stick by. Now we're going to start off with the perimeter, the outer part, just because it's a little bit easier. Now, when you are doing perimeter, you need to do your length, add your length, add your width, add your width. Now, what that means is how long the shape is. So it's two centimeters long. And your width is how wide, and it is four centimeters wide. So we would have our four over here. And then all you do for your perimeter is you add everything up. So your two, add your two is four. And then that four, add four is eight. And then Add another four is 12. Don't forget to look at your unit of measurement, that is centimeters. Now area is a little bit different. You do your length times by your width. So you don't need to look at every number over here. You just look at your one length, which is two, and your width, which is four. And then you do your two times your four, which is eight centimeters. Now, when you are doing area, you need to put a little number two here, and that is your squared sign, and that just shows that you're doing the area of your shape. So for this shape over here, your perimeter is 12 centimetres, your area is 8 centimetres squared. It is super simple. Now, I'm going to let you have a go at your own shape. I'm going to change the measurements, I'm going to change the sides. You're going to follow the exact same steps as before. And I'm going to give you a few minutes to work that one out. So do feel free to pause it if that helps you and gives you some more time. So your measurements for this one will be six and three. Now, if you have come back, I'm going to go through this shape. So remember, that should also be six. That should also be three because it is a rectangle and the opposite sides are the same. So your perimeter, you should have three, add three, add six, add six, which would give you 18 centimeters. And for your area, you should have your six times your three. And this is one of those occasions where both measurements are the same. You should have 18 centimeters squared. If you did get that, well done.